What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Real Madrid career mode and my god, if you haven't gone and seen the last episode guys, I highly recommend you do. So in today's episode we have the January transfer deadline day and we also have two matches, the first of which is against Atletico and then we have a match against Liverpool. So let's talk about Ozil. Well, if you haven't gone and watched the last episode guys, a big transfer did go through. I didn't want it to, but um, Cristiano Ronaldo was sold by the board to Barcelona, which is extremely disappointing. He was sold for $74 million and we only got allocated 63 So with that injection of funds from the sale, and we also sold Javier Hernandez for $40 million, I just wanted to boost up the squad, and I wanted to bring some Real Madrid, former Real Madrid players and just put some more squad depth into the side. So we do manage to bring Ozil from Arsenal back, and he's going to be a decent squad rotational player. $70 million. And uh, because I had the money, I thought, why the hell not? Now that Ronaldo is gone and Javier Hernandez is gone as well, my only two, the only three strikers I have are Ibra, Sergio Aguero, and um, Suarez. And they're relatively old. I wanted to buy a, a really quite young um, striker in the form of Lukaku. So he's going to be coming into the side. I also managed to sign Angel Di Maria from uh, Manchester United for Peter Cech plus... Um, some bit of cash. So we did manage to bring two former Real Madrid players in the form of um, Angel Di Maria and Ozil. So we're going to be seeing some seeing some old Real Madrid legends back. But we did manage to sign also Lukaku as well. So we took advantage of Ronaldo going to Barcelona and uh, we brought in another striker because we haven't actually got that many... Well, obviously Ibra is going to be retiring soon and uh, also... Also Suarez and Sergio Aguero. But these signings that I did have actually really, really helped me in the next matches coming up. And I'm going to explain that more later on. But guys, just to quickly recap the last episode. We obviously sold Javier Hernandez for $40 million and Cristiano Ronaldo the board side. I'm absolutely gutted. If all the team... Like, he wasn't even that expensive. Like, any man, any team basically could have bought him. Any of the top tier teams like Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur, like... But to go to Barcelona, being homesick, I can understand if you went to Sporting or a Portuguese club, but come on. Spain isn't even on that far from Portugal. I'm still pretty pissed off at it. But to quickly recap the last episode, guys, we ended up drawing 1-1 against Barcelona in an El Clasico. Luis Suarez started off the scoring, and Cristiano Ronaldo scored the other goal as well, and he celebrated like a prick. We ended up playing another match against Malaga, and with the morale so low, we only ended up winning 1-0. And it was an unlikely goal scorer. It was Thomas Muller came off the bench, so he tried to keep his presence known. But we're going through the squad report here, guys. You're most welcome to pause and have a look. Um, Leno is going to be getting a little bit more, well, bench time, I guess. <laughs> I don't really want to rotate Courtois all that much. But now with Peter Cech going back to Man going to Manchester United, um, we basically... I no one really wanted him except for PSG. And I thought we might as well sell him on while he's still an 88 overall. The only reason I bought him was to increase increase squ um, squad depth and actually just make a profit. But we do have the Madrid derby in this episode, guys, against Atletico. They are currently out of the top five, which is really quite surprising. Dumbia is still coming second, but with um, us losing Cristiano Ronaldo, um, it's bringing... A problem now. I tried to play the Atletico Madrid match, and I thought, okay, I'm going to fix the problem for myself. So we have four of the starting eleven players out on international junior. I think, oh, fucking fantastic! We have the Madrid derby. We drew against Barca. We need to win this match to cement our lead, which international duty has never been a problem for me. Um, it happened once. It must have been with the new update that you can actually not use players. Now I'm trying to bring on other players here. But Di Maria is actually out on international duty, and so is Ozil. So there was only a couple of players that weren't out on international duty, such as Lukaku. So it was actually a blessing in disguise to actually sign these younger players. But um, Ibra and Ozil weren't, um, but there was a couple of players. So we're going with our... Eh, it's not a weak side. Thank God we have the squad depth to cope with it. But, obviously, we need a gel as a side. This team has been playing week in, week out. What is this, the seventh episode of Season 3? And bringing in Ozil 
and um, Lukaku. They're prompt. They're really good players. I'm sure Urzu will gel into the side, but it's going to be very interesting to see how Lukaku and Ibrahimovic go. Now we had a couple of players here. I can't. I couldn't even figure out who it was. Instead of manually going through every single person on the bench, so I just went with. Um, the auto resolve bench. So we do have the Madrid derby at the Santiago Bernabeu. It is pissing down with rain. We've had a couple of matches pouring, but this is not the only match of today's episode. We have the round of 16 against Liverpool, and I do believe we play with another weakened side. But Dumbia on the ball, shots fired, gets his first shot off the top goal scorer or for Atletico, the second in the league. But Lukaku on the ball for his Madrid derby debut and his debut. Finds Ibra, he manages to find the crumbs, and Lukaku, the left-footed Belgian beast, manages to make it 1-0 and start off the scoring. So, I wouldn't have actually thought I'd be giving Lukaku his debut this early on, but what a shot from the young striker. Now, the birds are going ballistic. I'm sorry if you can hear that, but I do apologize. There's not much I can do. I can run out like a crazy person and tell the birds to shut up and just... But uh, Lukaku there managed to get his shot off with his left-footed wonder, and that was a really quite a nice goal there from Lukaku to make it 1-0. And I really do hate playing in the rain. But guys, if you are enjoying this FIFA 15 Real Madrid career mode, we've had a lot of upsets and a lot of changes. So uh, make sure to leave a like if you are enjoying it. I do appreciate any amount of support I can get on this series. But Gareth Bale makes it 2-1 at the Majid Derby. I was really quite worried, worried with this, um, I don't know, just so much changes into the side. But Real Madrid managed to step up for the occasion, and Gareth, May Gareth Bale makes it 2-0 just before the 60th minute. But guys, if you've ever liked the video, you've favorited, you have commented, or you have subscribed because of this series, I thank you. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And, uh, yeah, and I really do mean that. I do say this a lot, but I really do mean that. I really want you guys to know as much as possible. But Ibra manages to find Lukaku on the ball. Eden Hazard, the Belgian beast. Ibra, with the scoop turn, managed to get his shot off. It was a pretty audacious shot. He manages to hit the post, so he was luckily denied. But Antonio Gretzmann, the Frenchman, manages to get his shot off, and we managed to win quite comfortably over Atletico. So it was good to see Lukaku pick up his debut goal and the, and the man of the match. I nearly burped there. <laughs> Very unprofessional video, guys. I do apologize, but hey, what are you going to do? Now, we do have the round of 16 against Liverpool away at Anfield. And Ronaldo is currently the top goal scorer at Barca in the league. So it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to be able to beat. Because half of his record, I would say, is probably is at Real Madrid. And then the other half is at Barca. The only really top goal scorer they have there is Messi. Um, so I reckon they're going to be giving him the majority of the football. But... Let's stop talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, the traitorous bastard. We have a match against Liverpool that we need to be focusing on. So, guys, we're going to be... I'll show you the team in a second. For some reason, it took a little while to load here. But this is the team we're going with. We're going to be going with the white kit and the red Liverpool one. So, unfortunately, guys, those players that were on international duty are away for the Liverpool match. So... Not only is Lukaku getting his, he got his debut, he got his debut pretty early on in his Real Madrid campaign. He also got his debut in the El Clasico, uh, uh, sorry, the Madrid derby and scored. But now he has his Champions League debut in the round of 16, probably the mo one of the most important Champions League matches against Liverpool. He's going back to Merseyside and he manages to score against Liverpool. And Lukaku is playing Absolutely spectacular football with Eber up front. What a through ball here. And he scores against the English side as he's done many a time. And what a goal from Lukaku there. 83 overall, 23 years of age. And he's going to be, in the next couple of years, going to be a Real Madrid legend. I can just see it. So what a fantastic player he has been. But Daniel Sturridge manages to get his shot off. The rock, the Englishman rockets it wide. But Ibra with the Ronaldo chop, with the scoop turn, will he score against Liverpool? He gets his shot off at Slim Dog Mingale. And it didn't manage to account for anything. Ibra with the back heel manages to get his shot off, determined to score against Liverpool. Unfortunately, couldn't. But he's hunting. It only gets his finest. Thomas Muller climbs to the occasion, gets up on the head and manages to find... Ibra, he gets his shot off, puts it in the back of the net just before half time, with five minutes remaining, but it is offside. And I was going to say, if that's not offside, what is? Because this is just absolutely atrocious. 
But you know what is atrocious? Injuries. And Daniel Sturridge managed to pick up one. Matt Hummels, the German, manages to come out from the back, drills him to the ground. And unfortunately, Daniel Sturridge goes off for an injury. But Thomas Muller here absolutely robbed on the goal line by Skirtle. And uh, Ibra here trying to create something. He managed to find Mario Goetze, who used to play for Liverpool. He was on a short-term loan a couple of seasons ago. So it's good to see him coming to face his former loan side. But like I said, Ibra was determined to score in this match, making... The Liverpool defence mints me. He gets the cut back in, and we end up winning 2-0 over Liverpool. We're currently winning 2-0 over Liverpool. So a good goal there. It was good to see Lukaku. And uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be a well-washed memory at Madrid. Who is Ronaldo? Who are you talking about? It's the Ibra, Lukaku, Suarez, and Sergio Aguero uh, show. But a good team celebration. I really love it when the whole team piles on. For Ibrahimovic. And we were exceptionally lucky to sign Ibra and Suarez. If I didn't actually sign them this season and we lost Ronaldo, we might have been in a little bit of trouble. But we do have a lot of players to uh, come on. So we had to see Di Maria and Urzu as well back on there. But Eden Hazard puts the nail in the coffin in the 90th minute. Manages to pick up the crumbs from the first shot. And makes it 3-0 against Liverpool. So what a spectacular position we are in against Liverpool. The Croatian, Modric, was unfortunate not to pick up his goal. But this is this is going to end the episode. 3-0 against Liverpool, and we ended up beating Atletico as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys, if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. And remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you've watched this video. Thanks a bunch, guys. Simpsy out.